There's three parts to the activity, but let me go ahead and give you a quick uh, explanation here. Basically, what's going on is, is I got a little background story here, but basically what's happening is you're on Mars, you're on Mars, you're out having some fun with your friends in the Mars River, all of a sudden it breaks down. You need to survive, okay? Okay, that's your basic back, background story going to that. So what I need you to do to complete this activity, there's three parts to this activity. Looking at the Grady River here. So the first part of this Grady, Grady River here says, hey, background research, looking up for information on the two planets here. So the two planets that we have you look up information on are going to be the Earth and Mars. Because you live on Earth and you're going to be on planet Mars here. So please review books, maps, photos, movies, websites, anything you can find information on Earth and Mars on, on to help you fill this out. I highly suggest watching the movie The Martian, and then you say it's a movie, it's all made up. No, 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 The Martian was based on the book. The book was open source when it was written. I've never seen any movie in my life with as accurate scientific information as The Martian, okay? I will say this right, I haven't read the book, I've watched the movie, I've not seen more accurate scientific information in a movie, okay? So it is actually a good resource for this activity if you've seen it. What you need to do is you need to take a look at these 10 categories here. Gravity, atmosphere, weather, magnetic field, soil length, day, night length, season, surface charge, natural resources, and temperature. And write down the pertaining information with Earth and Mars. Because what you're going to see, for most of these categories, Earth and Mars are not going to be the same. Okay? And that's, and that's going to dramatically change survival on the Earth compared to survival on Mars. These different changes between things for, on Earth and Mars. For example, I can't tell you how much have I emphasized the importance of the Earth's magnetic field. Then the, you have to ask yourself the question, well, it's important we have a magnetic field, does Mars have a magnetic field? So you need to look up the differences between the Earth and Mars, Mars here and these. And some of these aren't going to be too different. One or two of them are not going to be very different from each other. other. But some of them are going to be dramatically different between the two. So you need to look up background information so you can understand What's the difference between living on Earth? What's the difference between living on Mars? That's the first part of the activity. Second part of the activity, assessment of the survival items, uses and advantages and disadvantages. So you'll see on the next page here, 15 items. So these items could have been given to you in the thing, you could have had them in your pocket, someone could have dropped them on the floor of the room. Doesn't matter, you have these 15 items here. here. And what you need to do is list possible usages for, for them. For them. So, and so, don't put down any items that are useless, okay? I watched someone take a golf club, turn it into a hatchet with nothing more than a fire and rocks, okay? There's no such thing as something being useless. Not physical objects, I can think of useless human beings. But not physical objects here, objects. So come up with possible uses and advantages and disadvantages of these items. So it goes anywhere from a pack of matches, who ways to turn down something like an AMF and solar power, uh, receiver transmitter, transmitter, and come up with the uses uses of the of these these. And then after you get the possible uses, so one thing about the items here, assume they all work on Mars, okay? Because I've had students say, well, flare gun's useless. They have self-oxidizing flares. The flare gun will not be useless if you have self-oxidizing flares. And I don't want to have to get down and write a whole product description here. So don't get picky with me, okay? Okay, don't get picky with me like that. That. I don't want to have to write down, for example, I don't want to have to write down flag gun with self oxidizing flag with a magnesium oxygen compound in, in them, in an orange gun that shoots red flags. I don't want to have to go through that kind of description, okay? Okay, just assume everything on here works on Mars, okay? And that's really the big questionable one, questionable one out of the list. So once you list the possible usages of the items, item, the last part of the lab, you have to rank the items. Here? So the last five points of the lab is ranking the items, and then your score will be on how far you are from the ideal usage. So me, a couple of astronomers, and a survivalist got together and ranked these items from most important to least important, okay? I want you to do the same. So, so when you look at the list of items here, there's 15 of them. My advice I always give students is the following here. Here, put the items in three categories. First category is items that are essential. I think about it, what's essential to living? 
Breathing. So oxygen is going to be on that list. So vitamins that are going to be essential that you're going to need. Next thing. Luxury items. I know I felt luxury on, but that's fine. I don't have spell check. You have spell check. And you still tell me the answers on the Galilean Moon Lab that were misspelled. Okay? I'm a lot of misspelled stuff. All right? So luxury items, things that you don't need to survive, but yeah, they'd be nice to have. Like a hot cup of coffee. You don't need coffee to survive. You need water, but you don't need coffee. So anyhow, so these are all luxury items. They, yeah, they, they make your life easier, but they're not a necessity. And the last things are, is limited use items. The limited use items are things that, man, I gotta really stress to make these things be even possibly useful, useful for me. So if you go ahead and break up the items into these three categories, and there's about five in each of them, okay? And I use the word about five because there's some judgment call here. There's about five in each of them. That's the first suggestion I make to my students do is break them up into these five categories and then rank them within each into the category. Obviously the essential stuff coming first, then the luxury, then the limited use items. Items here. And then what I do for your scoring is I take your value for your ranking, subtract it from our value from the ranking, then take the absolute value of that, and then I do that for all 15 items, add them up. And then I take whatever that score is, and the amount of points you'll get will be based on this chart here. So if you get between 0 and 30, so this is the average of two spots off per item here, you'll get the full five points. Uh, maybe you can, uh, I might be over-exaggerating, you can be the first watcher, but at least if you went to Mars, you'd be a strong contributor, okay? And then 30 through 31, four points, 50, one through 70, three points. If you get down to where you're ranking difference between mine and some total of 71 between 90, you get one point. Look at my comment here. Hope you can at least see the result when you broke down. If you're that far off, if you score that badly, yeah, I hope you can see the resort when you broke down. And notice we get zero points. I tell you, you shouldn't even have left the resort, okay? Okay, and 99, 98% of the students will score this range. But every once in a while, I get a student that scores in this range, and I just question myself, what was the student even thinking? But 98, 99% of the students fall into the, to these uh, top three here. About half the students fall in the top one here. About half the students get the order close enough that they get the full five points. Point. Uh, so when you turn this in, what I need is I need these two pages. I need this page here, or some reasonably facsimile of it, and this page here is what. I don't need the first page because I got the grading rubric. And I don't need the last page because it's only that and that's the grading rubric, okay? I don't need them. But I need the two middle pages turned in on Blackboard for this lab. This lab is due a week from today. We will not have any sort of uh, classroom session because really, you looking up stuff. I'm not gonna sit there and watch you look up stuff all class long. You can do that on your own time, okay? A lot of this is just you looking up information. And then I would say, encourage you to collaborate with people. And, and hey, you can disagree with your friends with the order of your items, okay? Okay, that is perfectly fine. Uh, fine. So, and then when I'm looking at this list of items here, here, as I said, go through what you need to survive. So first, what's the primary thing I need to survive on this planet? Oxygen. So is there anything in there that can give me oxygen? I go to the list here and say, oh, this is a CO2 to oxygen converter. But is that going to be useful to me? Is that CO2 on Mars? Interesting enough, I'll tell you by the end of class, yes, there is. So bam, that's item number one right there. CO2 to oxygen converter. You're not going to last that long. World record for holding breath is like 10 minutes. The longest someone has gone without oxygen and not suffered brain damage is 55 minutes. So you're not gonna last more than an hour, okay? Without permanent brain damage. And while if I don't want permanent brain damage, I hope you don't either. So, so uh, make sure you, uh, and then go through and just write, as I said, get the essentials, the luxuries, and then the limited use items. And then write them in there inside those individuals. If you do that, normally you're fine. Normally you get the, the five points there. Uh, do I have any other comments about this? This is a research lab, so I don't think you've noticed this, but I noticed this because I designed the course. Each lab has a specific target of the scientific method that I want you to work with. Photon lab was doing statistics. Like that's part of science. Absolutely every area of science does statistics. This one here, this is a research lab. I want to see, can you provide me pertinent information by doing your own research? So, and so that's why we won't have a class period because there's nothing for me to help you with, okay? 
But anyhow, any questions about the slide before we go into a discussion about laws today? As I said, you don't have to get the ordering perfect. There's definitely much a lot of leeway in the ordering. You really, this, if you want to get five points, you really got to break it down and get into these groupings here. And I do encourage you to watch the movie The Martian. And if I was allowed, I'd show it to you, but I'm not allowed. And I say, you're not allowed social distancing. I can't social distancing. I can't have a movie night. They won't let me. Because really, I would like to see the march. 